Every licensed copy of Windows 10 has a unique license key. And if you ever need to reinstall Windows, you'll potentially need to find the Windows 10 product key to get things back up and running. The problem is that most people have never even seen their key, probably because they bought the computer with Windows 10 preloaded. You may also have lost your key or you forgot what you did with it. The good news is that there are many different ways to figure out which license key is yours. Your Windows 10 product key is not locked to any sort of specific Windows 10 media. If you've lost your disk or flash drive with Windows 10, you can simply download a new copy and install it from that. The key is simply a representation of your license. Your Windows 10 license is also locked to a particular computer's hardware. If you make a big hardware change or change computers entirely, then you have to do a reactivation to bind your license to the new hardware configuration. If Microsoft thinks you're abusing your license by installing Windows 10 to multiple machines at a time, they might be unwilling to do this. If you have a Microsoft account and have previously linked it to your Windows 10 product key, all you have to do on a new install is log in with your account details. Check out the relevant article in the description below on how to link your product key to see how it works. When you switch from a local account to logging in with your Microsoft account, this probably happened automatically. If you're trying to activate a copy of Windows, simply change your account from local to Microsoft and it should work. The same applies if you've upgraded a copy of Windows 7 or 8 for which you would have needed a Microsoft account. Simply log into Windows with your account credentials since there is no product key involved here either. Next, check your retail box. This is a very obvious solution, I know. Still, it should be mentioned, since if you bought a boxed retail Windows 10 copy, this is the simplest way to find the Windows 10 product key. It should be inside the box, printed on something. You can also get your product key straight from Windows. If you've got an activated copy of Windows and just want to see what the product key is, all you have to do is go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, and then check the page. If you have a product key, it will be displayed here. If you have a digital license instead, it will simply say so. You can also check your computer for a sticker. If you bought a pre-built computer or laptop which came with Windows 10, check the chassis for a sticker which displays the Windows 10 product key. This is becoming less common with high-end laptops such as unibody ultrabooks, but plenty of computers still display their product key on a sticker. You can also check the documents that came with your PC. If there's no sticker in sight, there might be a certificate of authenticity in the document pack that came with your computer. Assuming that you didn't throw out all of those little pamphlets, you might be lucky and find your product key in between the offers for antivirus packages and peripherals. If you bought your copy of Windows 10 through a digital storefront such as Amazon or the Microsoft Store, they'll have a record of your product key. It will either be in the email you were sent confirming your purchase or in your order history. So all you have to do is search your mailbox or log into your online account. You can also ask the OEM. If you bought a pre-built computer or laptop that came with Windows, then you probably have an OEM, that is Original Equipment Manufacturer, Windows license. This opens up the possibility that your OEM will know which product key goes with your computer serial number. There's no guarantee that they'll have this information on hand for you, but if you've come this far down the list of solutions, it's not the worst option. Product license keys are obviously on the way out when it comes to Windows as Microsoft starts shifting to a cloud-based subscription model for its software and services. For now, however, we still have to occasionally deal with a minor roadblock of not having a Windows key in hand. The worst case scenario is being forced to buy a whole new Windows license, but hopefully these tips will help you avoid that. See you next time.